hi guys welcome to another video this is in continuation for the avaya ode with the servers database side and this time this we are using ms sql uh, 2019 express okay so previously we created for uh, my sql now this time we are going for MS SQL. Why? Uh, because one of the subscriber, I'm not sure if he's a subscriber, but one of the uh, user commented on the previous video that uh, Salid that didn't work for me. Again, he got the connection test, not didn't get the test connection succeed. Instead, he got the error, something called error loading JDBC driver. Please check the JDBC driver configuration in the preference. So he has downloaded uh, the driver from the Microsoft website and also he has configured everything. Uh, he was told to use the MS SQL and he has checked with around 100 people in the and what is Avaya. Okay, so moving on, right? So what he said, uh, that is what I did. I download the SQL Server Express 2019, okay? I created one database uh, table, uh, which is, sorry, database as test. And in this, I have created one table as city. And this is when I do a query. So first one will return Pune, second one will return, uh, what do you say? Can I change the value? Okay. Anyway, uh, Mumbai, Delhi, and all this thing. Okay, so let's do the what we were doing last time. Okay, so let's go to the flow. And okay, so first is go to the preference. Let me expand this one. Go to Avaya Aura Orchestration Designer Database. Over here, we will add the jar file which is downloaded from there. So I'm using JRE8. So that's why I'm using that one. There are others uh, JDK versions supported. So if I open this one, right? Uh, okay, so where I downloaded that jar file, uh, you can see this is, if you search for something like download Microsoft JDC driver for SQL server, you will get this one. And I downloaded this 11.2. Uh, let me show you what is inside of that one. Uh, SQL Server. So if you see over here, there are different uh, JRE related uh, jar files are present, driver file. <clears throat> so you can use any of this. Uh, since I'm using JDK 8, I will be using JRE 8 related jar file. Okay, now coming back to this one now why the user was facing the problem and what exactly is the challenge is we don't have any documentation on the driver side so okay i have already created let me delete this one so let me add ms sql okay and what is the driver class name so i will go to the PPT. Okay, note over here, com, Microsoft, then we have SQL Server, then JDBC, rather than other way around. Okay, so that I will mention over here. Now going back to the URL. So with respect to, I think, some specific version of SQL Server, right? Now what we have to do is add a trust certificate. Okay, otherwise we get exception. So the format is SQL server, this is remain. This is the host, like any IP address of the server. And this is the port. So you have to enable the TCP port. If it is not enabled, then uh, you have to go to the database, uh, sorry, not database, control panel and add an exception for that. So this is a TCP port, oops. This is a TCP port, which has to be added. And yeah, so let me copy this one and paste it over here my user is sa password is ms sql at the rate one two three press test connection and we got the connection test succeeded 
okay click over okay over there and okay now what we will do we will create a query file so from the drop down we can see ms sql over there we will name get city okay and in this uh, we need uh, city and its ids we'll create new variable for this and uh is it done yeah finish okay so before moving on let me create a one variable something called set city id so let's keep it like two what we have into uh, mumbai okay uh going back over here go to the product so what we will do is we will do simple query where table name is city and come on id is so where the city id is equal to what happened variable okay sorry uh, we will set city id so that is having value as that one let's execute so if it is one we will get pune if it is id is two we'll get mumbai okay so everything good over there close this one so we will go to connectivity database operations get city okay so it come becomes a data node uh, nothing we have to do over there so get city that is the function we are performing we will try to play a prompt okay so now this will connect to this one this one connect to this one we'll play city okay why you were shouting okay now we will go to the create new prompt file let's say test finish uh, the city name is a uh, text variable and what was the variable name city right okay so close this one save close this one and done okay so we'll test it out uh, if we are able to pull the value or not so run the application still loading up application is having a problem the city name is mumbai okay so not sure if you're able to hear that one so it plays the city name is mumbai since we pass the value where is the value value as two and in the database 2e belongs to mumbai uh so yeah uh that was a small video on how to connect to ms sql and i completely agree with the user over here we don't have any document which specify which drivers to use so hopefully this video might come as a useful to resolve the issue thank you and have a nice day